Samsung is making some big changes in how it gets memory chips for its top smartphones, and people are starting to notice it more and more with every new phone release. In the past, Samsung's phone division mostly depended on its own chip making department to supply important parts like RAM and storage chips, but now that's starting to change. Samsung is becoming more open to working with other companies for these parts, and one name that keeps coming up is Micron, a big competitor of Samsung in the memory chip business. This new shift became obvious when Samsung launched its Galaxy S25 phones. Unlike earlier models that mostly used Samsung's own memory chips, the Galaxy S25 series came with both RAM and storage chips made by Micron too. That was already a surprising move, but it seems like Micron will play an even bigger role with the next generation of Samsung's flagship phones, the Galaxy S26. According to news from South Korean media, Samsung plans to let Micron supply around 60% of the LPDDR5X RAM chips for the Galaxy S26 series. In comparison, Samsung's own chip-making division will only produce about 40%. This is a major change because in the past, Samsung mostly used its own memory chips for its top phones. Now, the company seems more focused on getting better performing parts at a good price, even if that means buying them from other suppliers. So, why is Micron getting a bigger share of Samsung's orders? The reason is pretty simple, Samsung's. Chip-making division has been dealing with a problem for a long time, low yield rates. In simple words, the yield rate is the number of good, working chips a company can make from each batch. The lower the yield rate, the higher the cost per usable chip. When it comes to advanced LPDDR5X chips, which are used in the latest smartphones, Samsung's chip yields haven't been as good as Micron's, since Samsung's chip division is having a hard time making these high-performance chips efficiently, it makes more financial sense for Samsung's phone division to order them from Micron instead. Reports even say that Samsung Semiconductor is fine with only handling 40% of the total supply because producing more wouldn't be smart for business right now. Meanwhile, Micron is moving ahead quickly. The company has reportedly sent new samples of LPDDR5X RAM chips to Samsung for testing. These new samples use a smaller circuit line width, which should help improve the yield rate and may also bring better performance and energy efficiency to the phones. That's not the only exciting news. There's also talk that the Galaxy S-6 series might finally get a long-awaited RAM upgrade. While Samsung has offered a 16GB RAM option before, it was only available in a few countries. But now, rumors suggest that 16GB RAM could be offered globally with the Galaxy S26 lineup. If this actually happens, it would be one of the most noticeable upgrades for people who like to multitask, play high-end games, or just want a phone that's future-ready. This possible RAM upgrade fits well with Samsung's increasing focus on performance, with Micron providing more reliable and efficient RAM and the chance of 16GB RAM becoming available everywhere. The Galaxy S26 might end up being one of the most powerful and capable smartphones Samsung has ever made. This shift also reflects a big change in Samsung's business strategy. Instead of sticking only with its own in-house parts, Samsung is now willing to look elsewhere to get the best possible components for its phones. Whether it's using Snapdragon processors instead of Exynos in more markets or now relying more on Micron for RAM chips, Samsung clearly wants to deliver better devices, even if that means depending less on its own chip division in the long run, this could be a smart move. When Samsung starts giving more business to outside suppliers like Micron, it encourages competition which pushes all companies, including Samsung's own chip makers, to improve, and at the end of the day, it's the customers who benefit the most, getting faster, more efficient, and more reliable smartphones. As we wait for more official announcements and leaks about the Galaxy S26, one thing seems clear, this phone won't just be an upgrade because of its new design or processors, but also because of smarter decisions about the parts inside, if 
These reports turn out to be true. With more Micron RAM and a global 16GB RAM variant, the Galaxy S26 could be one of the most attractive phones for anyone who wants speed, power, and great performance.